Welcome to an unboxing of candy. Lots of candy. I'm your boy Zappa. This is the Queen of Space, who usually joins me when I do this not on camera. So through a series of weird circumstances, I've ended up subscribed to not one, but two boxes of candy. We have Tokyo Treat here, The Accident, and uh, Japan Crate. I suddenly forgot what it was called. I've been so frustrated with them. <laughs> but well, that's story for later. We are here to compare the content and see which has just got the better stuff in it. Which I guess is more of a personal preference than anything. What do you think? What does this one cost? They, um, I think there's only about a dollar difference between the two. Okay. This was about a hundred dollars for a three-month subscription, and Japan Crate was ninety-nine dollars on a three-month subscription. But this, to my knowledge, has an inbox, uh, like chain subscription system like you get points for every box you get and there's a card in there type in the code you activate it and they will physically give you free stuff whereas that one is kind of like someone at random could win the big bad boy box with the switch in it or something oh, okay so we're going to slice these boys open and i will show the camera the content first oh you can do both uh at least i will show the boxes cool. So we will see what you see before we see it. Or you will see it before we see it. There we go. Oop. Contents. That, oh, looks like some small candies fell out. Oh, spoilers for us. <laughs> so we will begin with the new, the new sub, the new boys, Tokyo Treat. Wow. It's like a whole book. <laughs> the other one's like a, a folded up leaflet. Yeah, this guy's like a whole book. And there's, there's the code that I need to enter. Oh, and one of the things that you could possibly get with your points is this really cute Tokyo Sky Tree Pikachu plush. Oh, there's no way you guys will be able to see it that close, but I'll see some if I really cute stuff you can get with your points. I'll try to snap a picture and stick that in there for remember. Also, the, the strawberry cheesecake Kit Kats. Yeah, we had those. I've had those already. Mm -hmm. Those are good, though. So we have here a black bag of okay. potato chips. This is the Atsuki Luxury Potato Sea Urchin Flavored Chips. Oh, so there's sea urchin flavor. Urchin flavor. I think I've, I've had urchin flavored like puffs, but not chips. So I think those are going to be good. I'm excited. I like urchin in uh, like sushi. So Okay, we have a little yellow bag. Looks like some, some corn and soup going on here. It's a corn porridge snack from Hokkaido. Oh, okay. It says the northern prefectures of Hokkaido has multiple specialties, including corn. These crunchy corn por or pottage, excuse me, it's not porridge, it's pottage. Potage. Uh, crunchy corn pottage flavored crisps are the perfect snack that reflects one of Hokkaido's main specialties. Mm. I'm, I'm curious. We have, I think this might be more corn, corn something right this next to it. This is a potato snack corn pottage. But we're taking an extra long trip in Hokkaido. Uh, this crunchy, crispy potato snack is delicious corn pottage flavor. Yeah, so, so those all have a similar flavor, but different textures. Yeah, and different brands. So much corn pods to be had. Uh, let's go with this squishy brown looking boy. Squishy brown looking boy. Okay, hold on. Uh, the, this one? No. No. The, next to the corn pottage. Oh! <laughs> this is the chocolate dori, dorayaki? Dorayaki, there we go. You know, I took Japanese in school. You think I'd be better at this? <laughs> <laughs> um, so it, this is from Tokyo. A type of pancake sandwich, yeah. typically filled with red bean custard, or in this case, chocolate. It's a red bean McGriddle. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's chocolate. If it was red bean, yeah. I'd be like snapping that out of your hand right now. Okay, like, we That's have porky. Some kind of um, bake. Por porkery brown sugar flavored like pocky sticks. They're from Okinawa. Okay. It's a crunchy oh pretzel stick that are yummy brown sugar flavored. Pretzel stick. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think we got those uh, similar thing in a previous box. Yeah, in a previous Japan crate. So hey, that's that's out. Those are pretty all right. Uh, that's have... going to be your DIY kit. Uh, that's the other one. And that's know. the Doki Doki Fishing. Oh, okay. It is a DIY kit. What's, what? Put your fishing line through the molds in the tray. Okay. Put the powder into the fish molds. Uh -huh. 
add water using the small scoop, wait five minutes and you're ready to go. Oh, it's that's, like it's kind of like gummy fish on a line. That actually is more DIY fun than the last one that I've gotten. The, the weird sticky stick with the stick. Yeah, and then another one was like, 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 like dollar store tattoos. Uh, no. Yeah, no, this is cool. I mean, I guess you can eat it. Yeah, it should. They should be edible. I yeah, imagine. Like, be careful. Oh, dude, don't. No, eat no, them. it says grape flavor. Okay. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, but yeah, that's really cool. It's got a little fishing pole, and you can swing it around and pretend to fish. So. Yeah. Dangle it about. Take pictures of that. We got a big, a big punchy man. That's a takoyaki. Ooh, takoyaki. Um, umaibo. Umaibo is that? Umaibo, how you say probably. Um. This month you can enjoy this puffed corn snack. So it's like the natto thing we got last month, yeah, yeah, but it's yeah. takoyaki okay. flavor. Okay, that, that should be fun. It's like a giant Cheeto, but instead of cheese on the puff, they use different yeah. flavor. We got a natto one, it was not good. Yeah, it was kind of meh, but I, I think we, I didn't think that's the only thing I never finished eating. We yeah, we're just like, ugh. <laughs> okay. okay, we got a little constellation chocolate cookies. They're just little chocolate choco cookies. And it's weird because it looks like a Ritz cracker. Yeah, it does. But um, half the side is exposed and half of it's in chocolate. It's super adorable, though. Yeah, cool. They're really good with tea or coffee. And then we have a, a kind of mochi choco, it says. Mochi choco. There you go, box. Oh, there we are. Mo mochi choco. Mochi choco. <laughs> um, no, did you I want to make you feel... This, okay, here we go. Consists of a round mochi disc covered in chocolate filled with a yummy chocolate cream. That's pretty interesting. Yeah, it's just, it just feels like flattened out mochi instead of being a ball. It's more yeah. squish. Thin. And apple that, flavored Coke. That's the featured snack is your apple flavored Coke. I'm down, I'm down for new drinks. I have heard really good things about it from my friends in Japan. Word. Um, we have... Uh, Chocolate stick of some kind. Brown sugar bar. This okay. delicious brown sugar and honey bar just melts in your mouth. Eating it will transport you away to the tropical island of Okinawa in southern Japan. <sighs> that sounds really tasty with tea as well. Right? It's a shame we don't get a tea crate. <sighs> I got plenty of tea downstairs. Oh, yeah. Yeah, we do. Okay. Uh, I can't. I'm afraid. It, may, it might be peach something. Kibidango? Okay. Have you ever heard of the famous hero Momotaro? Mm -hmm. uh, this sweet candy stick features Momotaro himself on the packaging. This sweet peach flavor will transport you all the way to Okayama Pre Prefecture. That definitely explains the peach top. Yep. Oh, it's so cute though. Yeah. All right. I'm hyped for that. Okay. Right. There's that's that. We have On Pun Man apple gummies. One Punch Man. No, On Pun Man. His head is an On Pun. <laughs> His brains are red bean, just like mine. Oh no! So little uh, gummies. Yes. They think they're packaged flat, so I think they're like on like a, 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 a plastic a, a, sheet or uh, or, or cardstock or something. Yeah, like. so it keeps them from getting squished. Mm -hmm. We have especially since they're characters. A chocolate pie stick. That's exactly what it is from Saitama. Uh, the silky dark chocolate filling is wrapped in a soft pie crust, which is a delicious treat. So it's like a fast food apple pie, but it's like a bar. Right, yeah. I just, I just looked at the pictures like, hmm. Also delicious with coffee. We have um, probably apple flavored uh, dung of some sort. Green apples in a bag. What is this mysterious texture? Mochi? Jelly? Gummy? Oh. We're making our way through the pre prefecture of Omori. Known for its delicious apples, that's why we decided to include this delicious green apple flavored treat. Can you figure out what the texture is? Uh, I've had stuff that looks a little bit like this before, like even with the little like pokey stick. Mm -hmm. So it's probably like a, it's gonna feel like chewing gum, but it's not that same texture, so it's totally safe to swallow it. <laughs> that can be satisfying. Yeah. Okay, that's they pack. I'm gonna have to talk about that for a second. We have. Green tea cookies. This sounds exciting. Delicious. Also good with tea. Oh, here we go. Matcha sandwich cookies from Kyoto. There we go. Yep. They're just cut cookies with matcha filling. Oh, man. Yeah. So good with tea. I just bought some new rose green tea. Ooh. And you still have that lemon cake tea, right? Mm -hmm. Mm hmm So, just just to note, I want you to see this. I'll show this off. They sorted out everything. Everything was nice and packed in there, but rather than having the bag just whatever, they like kind of squished and set all the Kit Kats into like a brick so that they don't get crushed in packaging. That's awesome. So we have here um, Hojicha Kit Kats. They're from the city of Kyoto. 
Um, hojicha is a Japanese green tea roasted over charcoal. That, I might have pronounced that wrong. I may have pronounced a lot of these things wrong, and I do apologize. Um, I don't speak Japanese. I did take it in school, but um, not well enough to speak it. Right? <laughs> Beyond, want... hello, my name is, and <laughs> I need to go to the bathroom. <laughs> Watch a lot of anime, so I've got a tech quote now, but... <laughs> yeah, yeah. Proper Japanese, no sir. I apologize for butchering uh, your beautiful language. Okay, so that's the first crate. Before yeah. we move on to the second one, yeah. it's like a whole book here. Yeah. Lucky treat. Every month, all subscribers are automatically entered. Oh man, this one's one is good. It's like all Ava stuff. Yeah, no, it's the you get the rando thing. Yeah, you could possibly win that photo challenge. Take a picture of your stuff, and you could win these like really cute Sanrio toys. Mm -hmm. Discover Japan. Oh, and there's a little bit of like Japanese culture. Yeah, there's like you like learn some words over learn here. Learn some words. Ryoko, travel. Yasumi, holiday. Densha, otoko. The tr the train nerd. The train nerd. Ah, I just saw a, a torp of that come up recently, but that that's not the official release. And then uh, yeah, just some more information about like, Japan and re regional information. That's. Give you a little culture about where your yeah. snacks are coming from and not yeah. just here's a box of treats. And if I, we'll find out in a second, but if I remember right, just the other box, just like here's the snack, not where is the snack popular in. Yeah. So that that's, that's a well, lot more to appreciate. And it's in a book. It's not just a little flat yeah. out leaflet. So it's, that's... Its theme was Japan Express. So it was like taking a, ta a train trip, I guess, around oh, Japan. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. I see and that. And that was the overall theme yeah, of the box. In, in the box, it does say... No, the, the promo code, the, the points code said travel. Ah, uh, yeah, because... So, it's... yeah. Okay, that's that's actually like... That's hype. That's I appreciate cool. this. I like that it has a theme. I'll set that up next to the, the, the soda bottle. All right, now... Yan Japan crate. Now, I'm told there's a lot of bread in here for a bit, for a good Japan <laughs> joke. joke. Yep. Pan. Yeah. So it, um, you can see this with the Japan crate. It's just the leaflet. This three leaf, three three sided leaflet um, is the insert. That's why I was so excited about that book. I was like, wow. Right. And but at least this one has everything organized by like if you get you know the tier of box that you get. Oh, yeah, because you've got the mini, the original, and the premium. This is the premium box, yes. right? Yes, all in. Um, what's in your crate? Yeah, there doesn't seem to be any kind of theme, though the art is actually... I'm, I'm kind of grieving on the original yeah, art they had made. Now, I, I didn't say this before, but both of these are supposed to be November's boxes, but uh, we'll, we'll get to more stories post. So let us begin with this, this flat thing that has fish on it. It's fish? I thought they were birds. <laughs> You did this to me on purpose, didn't you? No, no you couldn't possibly have known. It's gil, 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 gil gum. Gil, gil, gil. I guess that's the onomatopoeia that a, a fish might make. Con concoct your own interesting flavor of gum with this pack containing four different flavors. Oh, and you mix them up in your mouth, I guess. Okay. Green apple, grape, yogurt, and peach. Yogurt flavored gum. That's certainly going to be a thing. Let's set that over on this side of the world. Uh, we have the small boy. Another, I like these. These are the little, the, the sour cola gummy. Yeah. Like, I'm, I'm a big on sour candy, but... Well, we have got that one before. Yeah. I, in this crate, probably last month. Yeah, it definitely last month. So, so it, it, this is a repeat item. Which isn't bad. It's good. I like it, but... Yeah. If you were only getting the mini box, it would be a little disappointing, though, if you got the same thing twice uh, right. in a row. Unless you really liked it, like we do in this case. Yeah. Uh, we have... It's, ooh, it's the Pancake ooh, McGrills! This is a maple hot cake. Okay, Hot off the presses better. are these mini maple hot cakes. In the center of each bite is a special maple syrup cream that's so good you'll want more. So there's, there's three oh, y'all to see. Okay, yeah, yeah. So that's the one we just got. Now, I, I want to compare the pancake. Are they the, the same brand? No, no, they're not Definitely the same not brand the same at brand. all. Okay. They're just very similar. Very similar. But one is chocolate and one is maple. Which, that's, that's cool that, that we actually could draw a comparison. That's what we're here for. Uh, let's go for this big bag right here. Cheetos. Cheetos. Happiness Honey Cheese Cheetos. Yes, you heard me right. Happiness Honey Cheese Cheetos. This fall limited edition release for Cheetos in Japan features four different kinds of cheese um, and cream cheese with a sweet touch of honey. The sweet, cheesy flavors will leave you wanting more. So the back of this bag, as you were reading that, there's, there's, I guess, maybe not a photo contest, but maybe a submission to the company. What does your Cheeto look like? Uh -huh. And I see a person, like, 
like leaning over, like stretching, but in kind of a yeah, no, no, exactly. pose there. Yeah, like stretching. I don't know if you can see it too well. I'll try to zoom in and, and post. But yeah, that's that's, that, that's at least an advent an adventure. But that could be also a disaster. Yeah, I'm I'm down for that, but I like cheese. Okay. Okay, this is the Gyoku Gyokudo? maybe? And matcha salt fried potato. Enjoy crispy, crunchy, and salty goodness all at once with this bag of potato chips featuring three types of tea leaves, nisho matcha, tamecha, techa, and gyokuro. So it's tea flavored Flavor. potato chips. That's... With some fancy teas. That's cool. That, that's interesting, but uh, that could also be another disaster. Yeah. Now these kind of fell to the wayside, but that could have been during shipping. So I'm gonna pick these out. We have... Okay, this is the soba meshi. Enjoy the flavors of classic yakisoba and rice with the savory on the go snack. So it's like dried top ramen and dried rice with seasoning on it. And it's not even like a thing you have to like open the package and pour it in your mouth? <laughs> Is that no, what it's like do? it's like all mixed up. Like you remember when you take like crushed ramen noodles and I, put the seasoning on? I have a friend who does that, yeah. yeah. Um, but basically, yeah, and like puffed rice if you look at the picture. Uh -huh. So it's like leftovers in a snack food. Right. So like, <laughs> you, you don't pick it out, you just kinda like <coughs> it. Cool. That's at least an adventure. That's cool. Uh, we have this this blue man. Sherbert Pe Pero Cider. This delicious cider candy features powder that quickly turns into a refreshing soda candy. So it's got like pop rocks inside of it. Hmm. Lupin's so, favorite things. Do I add rock candy or do I just... No, no I think it's a... It sounds like it's a candy... It, it, like it might be a lollipop of some kind. Oh, yeah, because oh. there's fuzzies in there. Yeah. yeah, okay, so I think I realized what it was. It's like, you know, there used to be a candy like this. It used to come on like... The, the lollipop was shaped like a foot or a hand or something. Oh, you, yeah. You'd suck on it and then stick it back in the bag. Lick of sticks was also the thing. Yeah. That's, that's, what, that's, that's the big one here. Lick of sticks. The sticks were so much better than the powder. I, most just, of the time. I just wanted to be able to buy boxes and just the sticks. <laughs> <laughs> My friend would like take it and mix it with like clear sodas like Fresca and Sprite. Take the powder and it came out pretty decent. But, it, you know. Ch child connoisseur there. Yeah. yeah. So we have this... Stick boy. Stick boy with the birds. Cat oh it's squishy. I thought it was solid. It's kind of squishy. Kinakobo. This old fashioned Japanese sweet features kinako, roasted soybean flour, mochi. So it's a mochi. Okay. Cool. Um. It's it, it was squishy. I thought it was gonna be solid. And then here we have the delicious drink. This is a Hokkaido melon mix soda. I enjoy the sweetness and re richness of red melon and its delicious aroma. Oh man, that sounds awesome. I yeah. love melon flavored things. Okay. So at least this one has a lot of like smaller, like, you know, like five cent, five yen candy, whatever, ten yen candy. We got a little smack of gum. Oh, oh there it is. Yeah. This is the Chico Chan uh, Fusen gum. It's flavored with cider. Okay. It's a tiny just, little piece of gum. Just one little piece. And then we have a little... Uh, oh, it looks like a flan jelly. Yeah, yeah. pudding flavored jelly. Slurp up this pudding flavored jelly treat that's creamy and delicious. These are usually pretty tasty. I, I I really like the little jellies. I've never had like a flan flavored jelly before. That's pretty interesting. Okay. It's pudding jelly. We got Tunia's favorite thing. <laughs> we have a box that says bourbon on there. Chocolate melon bread. These small melon buns are filled with melon flavored chocolate cream. Ooh, I don't know about melon flavored chocolate, but well, it's like it's like melon bread. Wouldn't that be the same thing? It's just smaller. I just don't like chocolate. Oh, okay. <laughs> Have. Oh, those are like Tetris. Oh, Sumu gummy. Play your own game of Tetris. These fun block shapes, including flavors strawberry, grape, musket, and tangerine. Musket flavored? Mu not musket like a gun, but it muscat. says mu mus M U S C A T muscat. I, don't I guess I don't. I don't know what that is. It's my phone is downstairs for safety. So looking at the back of the picture, you so. Maybe you know, it might be the, the, the strawberry? Didn't it say strawberry? No. Hold on. Where are we here? Uh, yeah. Strawberry grape. It's a different kind of grape. Oh, okay. It, okay. I guess that's what they call the, you know, instead of, you know, green or purple, they just call it muscat. Okay. That, that makes, makes sense. sense. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. okay. Look, we all learned something today. Thank you, Zappa. We learned. Okay. We got on. 
This is the Sonoma Mom. <laughs> Sonoma. -ma. Sonoma. -ma? <laughs> Soda. <laughs> Wow, wow, my Japanese teacher would be really disappointed with me right now. It's hard mode. Yeah, that would, well, it's it's this. It's the manma that, like, throws me off. Okay. Sono manma. There we go. Yeah. Okay. Uh, it's a ramune gum containing three round-shaped gumballs. One of the three is sour, but it can only be revealed when chewing. Test your luck with some friends and see who's unlucky. That's fun! Yeah, like, and the, like I've had like Ramune flavored candy and like chips, like yeah. and pops, those were so good. Yeah, this is funny that one is sour, so you can play like <laughs> Russian roulette with your, like, your buddies. Yeah, it's like, okay, we, we put we put in for this 100 day of candy, let's find out. Hey, it's, it's Porkiki again. It's some more Porkiki, but it's Porky. corn flavor. Somewhere. Here we go. Yeah. Yeah. It's corn flavored, so it's corn flavored pretzels. We have a lot of corn flavored stuff this this month. Well, I mean it's fall, that's when corn harvests come in. And Japan yeah. is like super into seasonal things. Okay. So we have a fluid. Co um, I'm gonna say this wrong. Konjac, K-O-N-J-A-C. I know that's Konjac sure. jelly. That ain't no cognac jelly. <laughs> no, no, it's not cognac. Uh, uh, take your jelly on the go with this fun treat. Receive one of three flavors. This says uh, konyaku on here, so that might be where it's from or whatever it's made of. Or it's flavor. Probably, I don't know. It's, no. That's certainly an adventure. <laughs> it, it's a fluid. We have a oh, damage. Uh, those are for me. It got a little smushed. Yeah, box did get a little smushed. That's fine. So what this is they? the mini Ano Anoimo Anoimo Angel Pies. Ooh. Fall into fall flavor with these sweet potato sandwich biscuits. These fluffy and delicious sandwich biscuits are filled with luscious marshmallow cream. Oh no, I take it back. You can keep it. Oh, <laughs> I, like, I, I get at least one. I gotta find out. Oh no, we were good until we hit the marshmallow cream. And I was oh, like, no. And then lastly, this this box is Kit Kat. Mmm. Sweet potato, roasted sweet potato. Sweet potato Kit Kat. And this is the, if I guess if I got anything less, I definitely wouldn't be getting the Kit Kat because it's bonus, the yeah. bonus item. So this box is Kit Kat. Is the big Kit Kats, yeah. It seems like every box we get, you get some kind of special seasonal Kit Kat because it says these are a fall release that are limited in Japan because roasting sweet potatoes is like a thing you do in the fall. Yeah. Um, so that makes sense. That's awesome. Yeah. Okay, so box to the side. Go away. Get out of here. Okay, let's see what's up here. Yeah. Sort this out here. Kind of spread this. I didn't stack these for, for display purposes only. I just kind of yeah. set them aside and put them in a pile. So we, this, this, these are our boxes. We have Tokyo Treat on, oh, yeah. on my left, to their right, I fathom. Yes. Yes, there, there we right. go. And Sit then, down, your head will get off, so whatever. And <laughs> okay. So, we have Tokyo Treat here, and we have Japan, Japan Crate. Crate. Why am I forgetting their name now? I think I'm trying to erase them from my brain. Ah. Uh, like everything in here seems pretty good, but I think like overall, like um, we were a little more excited for the Tokyo Treat stuff, and then they do totally win out on the 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 information insert, like where your stuff's from, you know, it's it's a nice little booklet, and then their shipping was certainly on point. <laughs> I got this at the the end of October, and this arrived literally yesterday, but the, even this was its own little grumpy scenario. I do a series of miscommunication and misinformation. Subscribe to both boxes. I thought one had changed brands, so I went and signed up for this because this is where Google sent me. Mm -hmm. I typed in t Japan Crate, and this was the first link available. And then I did it again, and I realized it says add on there. Mm. Rather than going to Japan Crate, you showed me something else, Google. <laughs> so Google gets a strike. But then <clears throat> I paid for this. This was done. This was on the way. And then later, I get charged for this on a new credit card. 
having forgotten to actually unsubscribe. But, you know, that was explained. I, I guess there's a contract involved, and they can be like, hey, you have a subscription. Hey, hey, Zappa's Bank, we need to charge for this guy's subscription. Forced charge, I was a little grumpy, but it's fine. But then it was like, there's no information that it had been shipped, that I'd actually been charged, you know, correctly for it. And it took three days to hear back from customer service to find out that, oh, yeah, it shipped, you know, three weeks ago. Why, why take so long to get back to a customer when they're like, I feel like you fraudulently charged me and you sent me no information on shipping. Like, even now, even now, my December crate is en route for Tokyo Tree. And this is October's crate, right? No, this is no, also November's crate. Okay, this is November. So it, it at least arrived in the right month. Mm -hmm. But, you know, it was just a series of unpleasantries and impatient waiting that, you know, it loses points. But once you put the product side by side, too, and considering they're the same price, if you look at the value of the items, I feel like um, this one. Tokyo Treats got more value. Yeah, a lot of the stuff over here are like really small, like you said, like very <clears throat> inexpensive items I, that are like when you compare it to like. The things, the small items you're getting over here, yeah, it's, it's, it's cookie. Like these very small items, like are almost not comparable to one another. In yeah, I th like those are your four small items, and those are your four small items there. I wonder if somewhere in this information, there's like a net weight for the box itself, like well, how much weight's supposed to be in there, which is why they put that smaller stuff in there. Because maybe it was heavy, too heavy with the drinks. Or, or not, not too heavy, but they want to hit like an exact weight. It was like, oh, we need two more ounces. Throw in the piece of gum. Mm -hmm. Perfect. You know, mathematically perfect. Yeah. yeah. But I mean, if you were only getting the mini crate. It would be really disappointing. Yeah, because because the mini crate is like the Cheetos, the gum, the, the soda candy, the, the jelly, and this. Yeah, it's, that would be your mini crate. Yeah. Um, and I don't know. I don't remember. You know, I know Tokyo Treat has different. Oh, oh, check. Okay, there we go. Here we go. Oh, oh they have the same thing. The the premium is 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 you know stuff on the top row, and then there's the, a classic tab, which seems like they only have two tiers. But, you know... Even still, their classic tier, you get, like, a lot of things. The only things you're getting extra is the soda, the Kit Kat, the big box of cookies, and two more small items. Yeah. But then, you know, here, rather than, like, uh, what was the DIY thing on this one? Was oh. it there? Or is there not this month? Doesn't seem to be one. Okay, because usually there was, like, it also includes a do-it-yourself candy kit, which was... The false advertisement that I took away from my first kit, like DIY kit included Gundam theme. Are they sending a fucking Gundam in the box? I was expecting like Gundam like swag. I was expecting yeah. swag or a model kit, like even an SD. It was like I was so hype, and then I got the. But that's coffee. exactly the way the advertising made it seem because it right. would show the box open with a kit sitting inside with you've the got you've got like it was like a cup with sananju on there there was an ashtray red frame there was like a little like haro ball like uh, i think it was a plush of some sort there was like all kind of like gundam actual swag and it was all snacks and then the emerald mountain coffee that mine had a zaku on it which is cool but the, like that was the gundam item it was a gundam branded coffee can right and it, you can't keep the can really like you can rinse it out, but yeah. like it's not that it's not, you know. But yeah, this this information thing, and then it's like, oh, you know, and then like the extra pages are here's your, here's you know what you could win at random. Here's a photo contest. Here's learning about Japan. Here's some learning. Do some learning, and then more learning. Look at all this. Look at all this learning to be had. I I, I think when my three. You know, three months is up. I think Tokyo Treat will continue to come to the house. But next month, you can do this all again. Also, this was not a sponsored ad in any way. Oh, no, not at he all. He paid <laughs> for all of these things. It was very expensive. Um, this, like I said, this was $100 a month for three months. Well, uh, not, not month. Oh, yeah. goodness, no. It's about $34, $35 per box. I went for the three months, which is $100. And then over here is about 33 to 34. They're the same price. It's like a dollar difference. It's all a matter of, you know, which 
brand. I think Tokyo Treat only does uh, like these snack boxes, where Japan Crate has various boxes. They've got a cute box. They have a ramen box. Nice. They have a they have Savoy Crate. It says on the back. Yeah, which is, I guess like a mixture of you know various swag and some and some snacks in there. Oh. Either way, if you want to subscribe to either of these services, that will provide <laughs> reference links below. That just helps us have more snacks. Yeah. <laughs> I don't know. And if you spread the word, maybe we can get sponsored. But time to go eat some snacks and play some video games and yep. make some money in costumes and such. Thank y'all for watching. And as always, see Zion!